Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue to learn about SQL accounting system. And today lesson, we'll learn how to create your own company and also some basic but important setup. After the installation, you can get the SQL accounting system shortcut key over your desktop. Double click on the shortcut. You can find the login screen. Over the login screen, you can see your current version. 722 is the last three digits and this will be your current version. And when you look at the company name, on the right hand side, there is a three dot button. Click on it and you can find the create of new database or company button is over here. So click over here and you can put your company name. Let's say ABC Sandra Hart and do change the database name to the company name as well. Try not to use the default ACC dash something. Click on OK. This is because in future, let's say there's anything happened to your database and for your consultant or dealer to get the physical database, they need to know which one is belong to which company. If you still remember, our installation is installed in the C drive eStream SQL Accounting and this will be where your database is located. Imagine you have five companies and all is called ACC 010203. Which one belong to company A? You will not know and it will be difficult for your dealer or consultant to help you. So go back to SQL, double click on the new company and you can log into the company by using the username as admin password also admin this will be same for your testing company click on log on now you have logged into your own company but before we start anything do remember you need to go to tools option general ledger the first and most important thing is you must set up your financial start period and also system conversion date. Remember, if you make mistake over here and later on you tell me, Brian, I have made a mistake and I've decided my system conversion date is another date. If you have create 500 transactions and you need to delete all these 500 transactions and restart all over again. So please make sure you set this part properly. Now, what is financial start period? Basically, every company has a financial year. For sole proprietor enterprise partnership, it always starts from 1st of January. So, my question will be, do you want to start to keep for your 2015 transaction? If yes, then you set as 1st of January 2015. But for Sanjian Bahad, you may have different financial year start period. Maybe it's from May to April, from June to May. It depends. If you do not know what is yours, contact your company secretary. Make sure it will be correct. Second, and the difficult part is over system conversion date. Normally, your system conversion date will be same as your financial start period. But sometimes you may tell me that, Brian, I just purchased the system in October, so I do not wish to start and key from January onwards. Can I set as 1st of October? Yes, you can. And remember, this is not the year end. This is system conversion date. Meaning that this will be your opening 1st of October. So you need to decide before you start to key in any transaction. And let's put back as 1st of January. Click OK. Now, this is how you set the financial year and also system conversion date. The next step will be key in all your company details. Go to file, company profile, and key in all your company information. Okay, put the address and so on. So now in SQL, our licensing is based on the database. 
let's say you have five company you are allowed to create all of them under one package with condition you have common directors and also at the general screen the address must be the same for all this company let's say you tell me brian i have another company in another location but with the same boss what can i do so you still put back the same address at the general tab but you can change the report header according to the actual address let's say this is a pinning address so you just put back your pinning address the general tab is the address is for sql to issue you the activation code the report header is the address that will appear as letterhead in all your document so you save it close it and then next step will be go to file product activation so just send the activation request click on this button and convert to a pdf format in sql all document and all report can be converted to other formats such as pdf click on the arrow down key export to pdf and put at your desktop let's put your company name as abc request form save it close it and send this file to your dealer and later on your dealer will give you the activation code together with the product id and what you need to do is go back here go to file go to product activation key in the product id and also the activation code and click register if the registration is successful when you check on your company profile it will be yellow color for your company name so that's all for today if you are free do drop by my facebook to like my facebook and you can find a lot of interesting information such as latest gsd info and also information or q a regarding sql accounting system or you want to view others sql tutorial video you can always go to my website www.syntech.com.my click on youtube and this will be all your tutorial video thank you and once again i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you